A year ago, we made a video here in our city of Prague where we pointed out some useless things that we walk by every day. And quite often, you ask us if the city officials actually do something about it, if they change the things we point out. And I'd like to say that they do. So just a year ago, we pointed out this toilet, this public toilet that is here on the most luxurious street there is in Prague. There's all these fancy stores and we pointed out that it's not working and that it hasn't been working for years. Well, somebody saw it in the city and they said, well, we better solve that. And they did. They put up a sign that it's closed. And now if you're thinking like, well, that's an ugly little sign. Shouldn't there be like a nice printed sign? Yeah, there was one like a couple months ago. <laughs> it was saying not working but then probably someone stole that sign, so they put up this one. But you know what? Problem solved. The YouTubers can rant about it all they want, but we solved the problem. And this video is full of these little glitches in the matrix that we call the city of Prague. You said the most thing in Prague? This autobus, which is... Just the tour of the And it's not any people. Why is it easy? Another change that occurred after our video that we shot a year ago where I was sitting here and I was ranting about that there was a bench that was pointed directly to the square but you were actually looking at a back of a stand that was here so you didn't get the view. Well, guess what? <laughs> the bench or the two benches that were here are gone and they extended the stand. So the problem is solved. I mean, there's many other benches you can sit on and enjoy the view of the square. So stop ranting about these things and enjoy the view of the happiest pigeon in the world, inside a trash can, enjoying a bread. And the frequent viewers know what's missing. This right here is one of the busiest streets in Prague. Let me be more specific, the busiest crosswalk. Around 100,000 people, tourists a day, cross this road right here and they gotta wait for a green light. Well, lucky for them, the crosswalk has these buttons that you can push, obviously, to get a green light faster. Once you push the button, you'll get a sign that says, wait, please wait. I mean, you know these boxes from around the world. Now, here's the funny part, the useless part. It does not matter if you push or don't push the button. You're gonna get the green light within or in 55 seconds if it's pushed or if it's not pushed. Therefore, it's useless. This highly professional experiment in terms of the time was obviously executed with an official uh, Prague stopwatch. Just to be clear, it was certified to do just this job. Now the next thing, once you see it, it cannot be unseen and it's absolutely pointless and useless to the city. Yes, right behind me. No, I'm not talking about the Prague castle, the largest castle complex in the world. I'm talking about that arrow pointing to it. I mean, you can clearly see the castles over there. Why would you put an arrow pointing to it over here? And if at this point you're thinking, wow, like you really are filming about this? Like that's completely pointless. Yeah, that's the point. That's why we're filming about it. Also, there's already one sign here that's pointing to the castle. So you don't need an extra sign over there. But yes, this one's only in Czech. So we made that one in English and German. But still, if you're a tourist from France, you're gonna have no idea where the castle is. My favorite place on the Prague tram is in a space of the tram that is called Sechodový Měch, which is this in English. Yeah, that's the harmonica in the middle. And there's something that I consider to be useless or pointless. And that's a little sticker that's telling me I cannot be there. And actually, it doesn't say I cannot be there, but that I can't lean on the side, which everyone does because the side of that area is literally spaced like your body, so you can lean on it and be comfortable. Now, I believe that the future designers of these trams, because the city is about to order new trams, will design this area better so they don't have to put up stickers forbidding you from doing something, but they can design the area in a way that you can actually enjoy it the way it's supposed to be enjoyed. And that is for my comfort because, you know, I want comfort on these trams. Now, you may argue that I'm uh, crazy pointing out things to be pointless when it's just a rule that everybody is breaking. 
But I think that if everyone, every single person is violating some sort of rule, maybe we should think about it and rethink that rule. Like for example, uh, the doors in the Prague Metro. Everyone is leaning on the door when they enter the Metro. They lean on the door, even though on every single door, there's a sign, do not lean on the door. Can something happen to you? I don't know, I hope not. We have moved underground for another useless, pointless thing. And that is something I go by every day. And I honestly have no idea why it's here. And it's this, these city lights, these advertisement spaces, screens. And you may argue and say, wait, come on, they're not useless. They advertise something, right? They're offering you to buy something. Yes, they <laughs> offer to buy advertisement on these screens. I'm not joking. The advertisement that's running right here, right now, on all of these 12 screens for the past four years is an advertisement for the advertisement. It says, advertisement, our company, buy advertisement here. We will sell your product. But nobody has ever done it. I've seen these TV screens broken before. I've seen like a Windows desktop on it. I saw a guy that would come and fix them. I have saw this animation go over and over and over again hundreds and thousands of times. I've seen kids staring at the advertisement, I mean, at the animation go like, oh, that's funny, there's a bird, there's a cat, you know, ha ha ha. But I've never seen, you know, like, buy our car or buy our insurance, I've never seen that. So either whoever is running this never thought of putting some advertisement on it or just nobody wants this space. But since we now mention it on this channel, maybe some will, someone will be interested so I can stop tweeting about it. Still at the same metro station, and there's one more thing I want to show you that I've never noticed until I visited a conference about the future design of the navigation of the Prague transport system. Now, if you see the sign above me, it prohibits you from smoking here, which is legit. I mean, there should be a sign that says you shouldn't smoke here, but there's not just one in this small space. There's five huge signs that are telling you do not smoke here. There's also three smaller signs that are telling you do not smoke here. And it's the most dominant information you will get in this area. On the other hand, the fact that there's a tram line there or that there's public toilets over here, that's just a tiny little info on one of the uh, signs that are here. Therefore, I believe that redesigning the whole navigation system of the Prague Metro, or at least looking at it and saying like, wait, it's 2023, we don't need eight signs telling you not to smoke there, is a good idea. Good that we know that we can't smoke here, but if you're a tourist, there's no sign like where to buy tickets or that you need one. Because like, just let's make sure they don't smoke in the metro. All right, boss, we're on it. Speaking of useless things in our city, we were actually wondering if to mention and point out to this one. It's an official board on the city hall here out on the street that by law they have to publish some documents here. I've never ever seen anyone use it, but on the other hand, I'm not here 24 seven, but uh, I can clarify that there would never be five people at the same time trying to look up a document on this piece of engineering. So there's five different boards, but you know, you can be like, well, there may be some important information. Well, let's see what kind of information you can look up on this genius board. So we're gonna go, the first info is the mayor's office. And there's one document, so let's read it. Well, this document is about a person asking the city hall, and by law they have to answer. And the question is, if the mayor is writing the tweets on his Twitter account himself, or if he uses a PR agency. And the answer from somebody from the city hall is he does not use a PR agency. Why the hell are we wasting money putting these things up you know, powering it up with electricity to publish an information that our mayor has a guy who writes his Twitter. Like, you don't need this to say that out loud. But I guess that's what we live in now. So this was Prague through our eyes. We not only see fancy, cool little coffee places, but also bizarre, pointless things that we walk by every day. But I promise we will show you uh, some cool places on the future episode, or you can watch the previous episodes uh, on our channel, Honest Guide. New video from our city or guiding somewhere around the world every Sunday. I'll see you then. And in the end, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word, as always, by now you should be fluent in Czech. Uh, this time it's how to say advertisement. If there's an ad somewhere, it's reklama. Reklama is advertisement. Reklama.